It is the biggest presidential appointment in weeks. What breed will become the first dog? We send our intrepid resident veterinarian, Dr. Debbie Turner-Bell, to investigate. And she joins us now from the White House. Good morning, Debbie. Good morning to you, Julie. You know, President Obama said last month that when he returned from his European trip that the dog would be in place. Well, he gets back tonight. So all of Washington is asking what kind of dog and when is the dog coming? Well, I searched all over town looking for some answers. It seems everyone is trying to sniff out the details on the first family's new dog. Well, I've never seen anything like it. I mean, you would think that the president was about to announce the cure for diphtheria or something. The White House hasn't released an official statement about what kind of dog or when the dog is coming, but surely somebody around here knows something. Have you heard anything about the Obama's new dog? No. No luck at the White House gate either. I was just wondering, have you seen any dogs come in? I couldn't tell you. So we ask our CBS News team that's traveling with the president right now. Constantly working this dog story, and you know how much I've gotten? Zilch. We know that it's already been picked out. Don't ask me how I know that. I can't tell you. Even Washington Post columnist Sally Quinn worked the phones. Nobody knows anything. I mean, it's like the best kept secret in Washington. Since I couldn't get anywhere with humans, I thought I'd talk to the dogs. What are the dogs saying about the new Obama dog? Anything? If you can tell me where the Obamas are getting their dog, I'll give you this toy. Are you upset that he's looking for a big dog? It should be a small dog, right? Like a chihuahua? We finally got a tip from the mysterious Deep Snout. <coughs> he told us something. We're just not sure what. Whatever, just so long as they get a dog, I'm tired of talking about it. Let's get the dog already, okay? <laughs> and I'm exactly, I'm sure that's exactly what the Obama girls are thinking. We've been talking about this for a year now. They're ready for it too. <laughs> Julie. Okay, Debbie, when the dog does arrive, which we think it's tonight, what tips do you have for the Obamas to make sure this is a smooth transition? Well, you know, this is the Obama's first dog, so there's going to be a lot of transition for the family as well as the dog. They first of all need to puppy-proof the White House uh, to make sure that the dog doesn't get into any trouble. They might want to take up any heirlooms or any, you know, really expensive pieces of furniture and rugs because the dog's certainly going to chew on something. And then probably limit the size that the puppy is going to be in and sort of introduce the White House because it is so big a little bit at a time so it's not so overwhelming. But we're all on this, and as soon as I find out something, I'll let you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, woof. CBS is Debbie <laughs> Turner Bell. Thanks, Debbie. <laughs> All right, Jill. Remove it's, the heirlooms. Yeah. That's going to be like the whole White House. <laughs> it takes a Lips while. Else. They got to they got to vet the dog, see if the dog accepts the post. It's not that easy. Yeah.